Hi guys, I'm Paul. In this video I'm going to explain how many Ethereum I think you'll need to be a millionaire. And stay watching until the end as I will give my price prediction for the next bull run. I will also deep dive into Ethereum's supply and tokenomics as well as the future roadmap and also Ethereum's price prediction for 2030. What is Ethereum? Ethereum is a decentralized blockchain with smart contract functionality and one of the main use cases I see for it is for decentralized finance applications which include smart contract type loans and borrowing. Ether, otherwise known as ETH, is the native cryptocurrency token of the platform and is used to make payments and verify transactions on the network. Ethereum made a big change in September 2022 from proof of work to proof of stake and I'll go into more detail about this later in the video. Just a quick disclaimer before we start, the information in this video is meant for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Okay, now let's begin. About Ethereum. Ethereum was founded in 2013 by programmer Vitalik Buterin, Gavin Wood, Antonio Di Iorio, Joseph Lubin and Charles Hoskinson. Some of the founders went on to create other successful cryptocurrency projects, including Gavin Wood who co-founded Polkadot and Charles Hoskinson who founded Cardano. Vitalik Buterin is also known for being co-founder of the Bitcoin magazine, which is said to be the oldest and most established news magazine for all things Bitcoin. Ethereum is a decentralized open source blockchain system, so anyone can build on it and it doesn't rely on any centralized authority to run or control it, which is the aim of decentralization. Ethereum uses a proof of stake based consensus mechanism, which works by users validating new blocks of transactions on the Ethereum blockchain and earning rewards for this in the form of ETH tokens. It should be noted though, you need at least 32 Ethereum to run an independent node on the network. Proof of work which Ethereum was using prior to the change in September 2022 works differently to proof of stake as it requires miners to solve cryptographic puzzles to earn rewards and consumes a lot more energy. I think what makes proof of stake more superior option over proof of work is it requires a lot less energy to run it and has the capacity to produce much faster transaction speeds. Bitcoin, the number one cryptocurrency by market cap, is known to use the proof of work consensus mechanism. The name Ethereum was said to be chosen by Vitalik Buterin after he was browsing Wikipedia for a list of science fiction names and liked the name Ethereum due to it having the word Ether in it. What I think makes Ethereum unique is it allows for the creation of ERC20 tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. These tokens are basically a standard used for creating and issuing smart contracts on the network. Ethereum can currently process around 15 transactions per second. However, once the Ethereum 2.0 is fully completed, it is estimated it will be able to process around 100,000 transactions per second, which is a massive increase. Comparing this with some other crypto projects like Cardano, for example, which can process around 1,000 transactions per second, and Solana, another project which can process 24,000 transactions per second, the full completion of Ethereum 2.0 will be essential to stay ahead of its competitors. Ethereum's current all-time high price is $4,891. Ethereum Supply and Tokenomics The Ethereum network was launched with a total supply of 120 million tokens. Since the proof-of-stake upgrade, staking now influences tokenomics more as any gas fees paid for using the network burns tokens, therefore removing them from the overall circulating supply, and the number of tokens issued will decrease as more users stake their ETH. This makes Ether deflationary, which will be attractive to investors as a way of protecting their wealth from inflation. The diagram shows the coin allocation by percentages taken from the Etherscan website. The initial token distribution of Ethereum is as follows. 83% is allocated to Ethereum CrowdSell and 17% is allocated to Ethereum Foundation and early contributors. Ethereum Roadmap the Ethereum roadmap was proposed by Vitalik Buterin and is organized into several categories. To clearly illustrate the roadmap, I have drawn a detailed diagram for you to see, so hope you like it. The Ethereum's roadmap includes the following upgrade stages. The merge. This upgrade relates to the switch from proof of work to proof of stake and was successfully done on the 15th of September 2022. The surge. This upgrade relates to scalability by rollups and the goal is to get to 100,000 transactions per second. It is anticipated to be done by end of 2023. However, if the merge is anything to go by, this could be delayed until 2024. 
the scourge. This upgrade relates to censorship resistance, decentralization and protocol risks from MEV. A date hasn't been announced yet, but it's likely to be rolled out over the next few years. The Verge. This upgrade relates to verifying blocks more easily. Completion date next few years. The Purge. This upgrade relates to reducing the cost of running nodes and simplifying the protocol. Completion date next few years. And finally, the splurge. This relates to other upgrade fixes, i.e. anything else that doesn't fit into the previous categories. A completion date for this is the next few years. EIP 1559. EIP 1559, otherwise known as Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559, took place on the 5th of August 2021, and its aim was to change how Ethereum process network gas fees. This was much needed improvement to the network as before it was implemented, users could just bid a random amount to pay for a transaction, which during busy times could work out to be very expensive. The new EIP 1559 system works by making transactions more efficient and has two components to it, a base fee and a tip. The tip is optional on each transaction, but the base fee is worked out depending on the network traffic. What makes the EIP 1559 extra special is the network burns the Ether tokens used to pay the base fee of each transaction. What this basically means by the term burning is that the Ether is sent to an unknown wallet address, which once sent there isn't accessible and is lost forever. So by Ethereum burning the Ether tokens, over time it will reduce the overall supply and less ETH on the market makes it more scarce and therefore more valuable. Key points of Ethereum. Ethereum has several benefits that make it a great blockchain solution, including First Mover Advantage Ethereum has first mover advantage in the crypto market, being the world's first blockchain that supports smart contracts. Liquidity It has a high level of liquidity. This indicates a healthy level of buyer demand, which is a good sign for investors. The ETH burn ETH burns a number of tokens which reduces the overall supply over time and less Ethereum on the market makes Ethereum scarce and therefore more valuable for investors. How many Ethereum to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Okay, so before we look at the price prediction for Ethereum in the next bull run, let's remind ourselves of Ethereum's previous all-time high price which was $4,891. This price gave it a market cap of around 588 billion. With this information about the previous market cap and the all time high price, let's now look at the current market cap of Bitcoin. As we can see, the current market cap of Bitcoin is 580 billion, and this is in the bear market. So during the next bull run, we would assume Bitcoin's market cap will be higher than this, as based on Bitcoin's all time high price in last bull run, which was 64,800, it gave it a market cap of 1.2 trillion. If Ethereum was to get to 1 trillion market cap, which is still below Bitcoin's all-time high price in the last bull run, this would give it a price of 8,500. On the higher end, if Ethereum was to get to 1.2 trillion market cap, which matches the Bitcoin all-time high market cap in the last bull run, which is possible, this would give it a price of $10,000. I believe a price prediction of $8,000 to $10,000 Ethereum is possible in the next bull run. But how many Ethereum would you need to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Using CoinStats, a crypto profit calculator, if we enter the current price and the predicted sell price of 8,500, we can see it would require an investment of 225,000, a lot of money at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. If we do the same again, but this time set the sell price at the very high end of our price prediction of $10,000, you would need an investment of around 200,000 at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. At the $8,500 price prediction, you would need to buy 118 ETH, which is an investment of $225,000 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. At the higher end of our $10,000 price prediction, you would need to buy around 105 ETH which is an investment of $200,000 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. Ethereum prediction by 2030. Investment management firm Vanek have made a bold prediction recently that Ethereum could reach $50,000 for one ETH by 2030. 
The reason they give for this is due to Ethereum's revenue model and the decrease in token supply over time, which we mentioned earlier in the video, and also its potential for its technology to appeal to the wider market. Do I think 50,000 ETH is possible? Well, put it this way, the Vanek price prediction of $50,000 would give Ethereum a market cap of around 6 trillion. This would put it above the current market cap of both Apple at 3 trillion and Microsoft at 2.5 trillion combined. So it is very unlikely in the next seven years, but I'd be happy if I was wrong. Future Outlook I believe Ethereum has a very promising future, with it being the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap and many experts in the field saying it could flip Bitcoin's market cap in the near future, which based on Bitcoin's last bull market all-time high would put it in the region of $10,000 for one ETH. It also has many partnerships with corporate companies which include JP Morgan, CME Group, Credit Suisse, Santander, Intel and Microsoft to name just a few, which does make it an appealing investment for investors. With all this said, I will be interested to see how the Ethereum roadmap progresses over the next few years, as any major delays could give opportunities to rival blockchain companies looking to take Ethereum's top spot. As always, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified when I post my next video. Thank you.